It's uh, me, Ophelia, and we are going to, um, by the way, an OC form, not the uh, actual Ophelia, the um, owner of this channel, the OC, who is in front of your face, me. So yeah, um, we're just going to be drawing out my, uh, my, uh, Kitty Ophelia, the, um, I don't know, I don't know what I'm getting at. But, uh, we will be, dr she, she, turn around the camera, I swear. Oh, uh, <coughs> why did I do so close up? I will be drawing like, Ophelia's family tree for you guys. Because why not? I'm the character who, I am the character who will be, who will be getting their family tree drawn. And, and I will be drawing the family tree. And also, uh, any cats who have, like, two different colored eyes will have their col different colored eyes, like, underneath them. If, as you notice, I don't add that till later, because I'll make sure you guys know that they have two different colored eyes, and they don't have the same color eyes. Anyways, <laughs> let's actually start now. Okay, first we'll be starting off with Ophelia. Um... So here's a little bit of her backstory without giving up, up too much information about the, um, whatever you call it. So Ophelia is my main OC, and she wants to join Clockland after she helped them collect prey. After I Star refused, she decided to cause a fire and lead Clockland herself. She ran into Clockland territory and dropped a, little, a stick into Clockland territory that was set on fire. She watched it burn. She, she saw Frost Tail yell about the fire, and Frost Tail is the first one to evacuate. Frost Tail, and she met them all at the gorge. She said she would make Clockland great again, as if um, Ice Star was exiled. In the next episode of Ophelia's story, we see Ice Star get killed. And she tries to claim, and Ophelia tries to claim her nine lives, but Star Clan says she is too young with cats. She gets angry at Star Clan, but just accepts it. And that's cat number one done. Voila. <laughs> Don't mind me, this took me forever to edit the text. Okay, cat number two. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. This one's kind of unbelievable. Hang on, there's an ad. Ice Star. Some people. So it's hard to kind of hard to believe that Ice Star is a part of Ophelia's family tree, but we'll get there. Ice Star was Ice Star was born as a kitty pet after a lot of stuff like meaning Blood Shadow and Blood Shadow being a really bad guy and stuff, um, which is exampled in the map. So I'm not going to talk about it too much. She becomes leader of Clockland, and um, and Ophelia helps her collect prey. When she, she denies Ophelia joining, so Ophelia um, exiles her by causing a forest in the forest fire, and then she exiles her. And then she kills her in um, episode 3 of Ophelia's story. And that's Ice Star done for ya. And, uh... Oh yeah. Okay, Cat Free. Waterpaw. Waterpaw... Was uh doesn't have that much backstory, so this should be easy. Um, Waterpaw was born at the same time as Ice Star and Ophelia. She decided she had to leave. Um, she came. She went with her sister because Ophi Ophelia got to stay at Two Legs because she hadn't. Um, she hadn't gotten kicked out by her owners like like Ophelia and Waterpaw wa were. So they had to run to the barn, and a few years later, they were just ch chased out of their own barn. They ran away. They ran away quickly, and Waterpaw ran to the barn. And Waterpaw was running along the gorge, trying to escape Blood Shadow and his rogues. While she was looking, um, Blood Shadow, cha Blood Shadow, cha she. She noticed um, Blood Shadow behind Ice Star, so she quickly jumped onto him, she, launching him to the gorge, saving Ice Star. She killed herself in the process. But, yeah, that's it. And, uh, surprisingly, we managed to fit 
in a minute, surprisingly. That all fit perfectly. Okay, and now on to the last two cats. The parents. Starting off with Fluffy, their mother. The mother of all the Ophelia, Ice Star, and Water Power. She had to. She her owners kicked her out after she um after she did something after her and her kit after her Ice Star and Water Paw did something bad on accident. They didn't mean to, but the owners kicked them out. She was killed by Blood Shadow. Um, she was killed by Blood Shadow. This part is not mentioned in the map, though, so. And that's Fluffy. She didn't take long to make either. And I'll be right back. And finally, on to the father. Whiskers. He was originally going to be Mr. Whiskers. Um, Mr. Whiskers is a Spingus cat, by the way. I told Ophelia was... That's how Ophelia is born pink. Anyway. Oh, also, here's where I draw Hycro. This is also where I draw the Hycrochromia, or whatever the heck you want to call it, for Ice Star and um, her mother Fluffy. And also, there's the 10 percentage warning that I got. Speaking of which, I'm going to put this on the Twitter. Okay, back to uh, drawing Whiskers. Whiskers is the father of um, Ophelia, Ice Star, and Waterpaw. He left after they were after they were born because he didn't want he didn't want to have to deal with kittens. He left to the barn and later and then after, but then Fluffy, Ice Star, and Waterpaw came. He was annoyed but accepted them. He had to explain himself after. After a lot of explaining, F Fluffy wasn't mad at him anymore. But Fluffy was still pretty annoyed. Well, there's her family tree. Obviously, they might get bigger the longer Ophelia's story goes on. Because actually, most of Ophelia's lore didn't actually exist until Ophelia's story came out. So, yeah.